speech will be delivered by Rowan. Please welcome Rowan. Today, I want to share with us why soccer should be America's next big passion. I want to take you down memory lane 2,000 years ago in ancient China where soccer began. In the ancient Rome and Greece and Soccer was just in its primitive state at the time. Nobody really figured out what this sport was until in the 19th century, uh, England brought this sport to life. The soccer we see today started in England. Beautiful sport. But one thing that is fascinating about soccer is not just about the leather ball that people kick around. Soccer has helped massively to build economies, drive GDPs, unite nations, unite people. One thing that is fascinating about soccer is its simplicity. All you need is a ball, an open space, and passion for the game it is that simple. Looking at this topic this morning, I was asking myself a question. I pride myself to say I was born in Cameroon, but I was made in Texas. <laughs> and I believe that I owe a debt to this country. In as much as I thrive to unite my nation that has been in war right now for about seven to eight years, we've lost more than 40,000 people. How many of us will agree that America has been divided for maybe the past one year or two years? And we can all agree that this country has been divided. And, and, and I think America built me to who I am today. And if there's anything I can contribute is to help share a message that can unite and bring peace in this nation. And that is why I'm introducing soccer. Because when we are playing soccer, especially America will be hosting the 2026 World Cup. I'm excited about that. Uh, this will be a time where Americans will be playing another country. So I think in that particular spot or maybe that game America now will find themselves against another country and I think rooting for America in that process will be a unifying factor for this country and so I'm encouraging uh, fellow Americans to all unite develop some passion for the game and I'm going to share with you how you can do that is that okay 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 so before I get into that I want to say Post Second World War, Germany was a divided nation. Very divided. They fought the war, they lost the war, it was a broken nation. But when they won the 1954 World Cup, it changed everything for the economy of Germany. The people found a sense of unity among one another. And it actually turns that entire nation around for good. And today, soccer still plays a very pivotal role in Germany. Not only in the sports, but both in the economy and stabilizing the nation. Let's, let's look at Brazil in 1970. Brazil was a very broken nation politically soccer played a very vital role after they won the world cup as well it united the nation and and because of that the people found a common ground like we are brazilians 
and we went out there. These 11 players represented us and they brought something home. And it changed everything in Brazil for good. So I was looking at these studies and just looking at what soccer has done, not just uh, the game, but what soccer has done both economically and politically around the world. So how do you get into soccer? There are many soccer clubs around, maybe Houston. I've had the privilege to visit many, and I'm part of one right now. Uh, I stopped playing soccer at the age of 18 because I grew up in a household where my parents prioritized education more than playing soccer, but I didn't understand how important this sport was. So I've realized that even in the past seven to eight years, in as much as my country is divided, because we speak both French and English, so the country is 75% French and 25% English, but when there is a soccer game, everybody comes together. Everybody comes together and they forget that we are fighting and they're like, okay, let's go play. We're playing against this country, we're playing against this country, and I realized that soccer is a powerful unifying factor. So, I want to sedulously say <laughs> <laughs> you have to develop passion for the game. And if you do have passion for the game, that's all you need. And you can find a, a soccer field or soccer club. Just go watch the game. Support the team. You can become a sponsor. Some of you here run businesses. You're like, okay, okay, I'm going to support maybe with the JC uh, for the team. And that might get your foot in the door. And why not try playing? Yeah, you might say you're old, but you can try. I, I did. I've had, have, I've had a, a, a broken ankle a couple of times, but I get better and I keep going. I, in my 30s, I'm, I'm playing soccer. It's very new to me but I'm picking up. And my call to action to everyone in here is find a soccer club this week and just visit. <laughs> Again, soccer can become America's next big passion to unify and move this nation forward. Thank you, Mr. Toastmasters. <laughs> If you like this video and you want to watch another one, click right here.